if you get really famous and make a lot of money or something, and then for a while you're not so famous, it's a humbling experience. <laughs> The Beach Boys! The Beach Boys! Beach Boys! Mr. Mike Love. Mike Love. Mike Love. Mike Love! I think the magic is uh, Mike Love's vocal performances on our song. Well, she got her daddy's car and she cruised through the hamburger stand. Now. Mike is a very strong musical force. If you take all the Beach Boys hits, there's a Mike Love element in there. And it comes out something like this. And we'll have fun, fun, fun. Michael Love is one of the most talented human beings I know. Just watch me. Let's do it Cashmere Hills filled with His extraordinary career has carried with it a mission to make the world a better place, and through that mission, call the next generation to a life of service to others. Mike believed then, as he does today, that young people bring creative approaches and that they want to be part of creating a better future for us all. What is it we could do as entertainers to help focus on problems of society? Rather than just sit back and watch, I'd like to be a participant. Please help me thank and welcome Mike Love. I graduated closer to the bottom of my class at Dorsey High School in LA than I did to the top. But I was blessed to have the combined talents of my cousins and the influence of my family. And this is the most important award in this lifetime. The Beach Boys not only wrote great songs, but they did more than that. We wanted to sing harmony, and the harmony we wanted to sing was Beach Boys harmony. As like the Eagles, we were more like settlers, but the Beach Boys, they were pioneers. The Beach Boys were the inspiration for the Beatles to get more experimental. And we ended up, it's kind of like a rivalry. In 1966, the Beatles were number two behind the Beach Boys, who were number one. We were trying to compete with the Beach Boys. I remember Brian was all excited for California Girls, and he's, Mike, you gotta write some words. So I watched Mike in the hallway of Western Recorders, in the hallway, writing it this great song very quickly, and it was very impressive. I'm a person who believes that anything is possible. I guess if you can make up songs out of the air and eventually stand in front of a half a million people and have people give you a standing ovation before you do anything, then your vision of reality and possibilities is different than maybe a lot of people. What do you want to be remembered for after you're all gone? That I lived up to my name. Mike Love, everybody. Yeah.